Yeah, Red 94 here bringing you another action figure review. This time it is on the Loki 6 inch Walmart exclusive Avengers movie series figure. Uh, now let's get this guy out of the package. And there he is out of the package. And first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to Autobot Murder for sending me this figure. I'll have his link on the underbar or whatever the description. Big things. He sent me this figure. I couldn't find it anywhere. And he sent it to me. So thank you so much. Autobot murder. Loki here looking cool with the, holding his helmet and his staff at the same time. Uh, before I get to anything else, let's get to the package. Package! And there's the package uh, of Loki. Brings that super cool, um, you know, artwork or I don't know if it's the actual picture of it. But it looks like, you know, it's, it was painted or drawn or whatever and, you know, photoshopped in there. So pretty cool. Uh, package, I uh, really like the package of uh, the Avengers line. So really cool. Got him with the helmet and the staff. Or whatever you want to call that thing. Um, he's a pretty sweet figure. Nicely sculpted. Very nice uh, paint apps. And uh, where there is paint actually. Because some parts are just plain plastic. And his uh, his suit. Or his you know outfit. Would focus. Uh, there you go. Uh, looks pretty good. I like it. His head sculpt does look like the actor. Now here the helmet is just uh, plain plastic. But then it's painted on the horns. So it's kind of weird. But, you know, uh, the helmet is removable, unlike the Thor from the Thor movie Walmart exclusive. So, that's good. It's just a rubber. And, uh, yeah, the articulation is decent for the outfit he has. It's actually really good for the outfit he has. His legs do have a lot of movement. And his arms, of course. His cape is removable, which is nicely sculpted as well. I like how he sculpted that. It's got a peg in the back, like, you know. How the Captain America Bucky Cap has and how Hawkeye has on for his quiver. Put that back on and I I, I would have liked if they would have put pegs on his shoulders as well. So it could look like it's really, really attached there. Good. But it's not too bad. So he kind of goes up a little bit. See what I mean? But here's the removable helmet. There we go. So it's, that's his head sculpt. Looks just like him, I, I, in my opinion. He looks pretty good like the actor. And then you just put it on like that. And, uh, yeah, looks nice. I really like how I made a removable, so that's really good. Mine came with little... Uh, it's not focusing right now. Let me see if it would focus. There you go. See that little black mark? I can't take that off for some reason. <laughs> that's how it came in the package. But, yep, there it is. Uh, his, uh, you know, outfit looks nice. It's got some paint apps in the middle of the outfit as well. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good job here. Uh, it looks just like the outfit from the movie. I also like that detail in his, uh, suit. You kind of see, like, the, the thread and stitching or whatever. I don't know. It looks like material or whatever, so that's also cool. The more I look at this figure, the more I like it. I don't know. I mean, they did a really good job on this look. He looks like him, and his suit is great. Uh, now the parts where they're not painted are his arms right here. If it would focus, there you go. And then it's painted like in the middle. You can kind of see the differ the difference in it. See. And um, you know he's he. If you take off the jacket here, or you kind of spread it apart, he looks really skinny. Just like his legs, his legs are really skinny. Uh, but I guess they they did that so when they put this the coat on, it'll make him look you know like normal, so he don't look too fat or whatever. But, uh, his legs are really skinny. I mean, look at that thigh. Like, he's not muscular at all. <laughs> or he's not, you know, he's not big like a god. Like Thor would be or whatever. And then look at his little teeny little bitty foot. <laughs> he's got some shiny glossy black paint on his boots. As you can see. So, uh, you know, pretty good paint apps and everything. I got another paint scuff right there from just... I was in the package if it would focus I mean what the heck there we go can you see it can you see it there you go oh, whatever but uh onto the articulation here you know the arm goes forward and back you know in and out it's, it's a swivel here the bicep and it's covered by this guard so you know there it is so that's pretty cool double and jointed elbows there you go his wrist just goes in a circle it doesn't go in and out or nothing same thing as the other arm, no ab crunch or diaphragm joint, it's just, he's just got a waist swivel right there. 
and my camera would stop being fuzzy. And uh, double jointed knees. His foot goes up and down. He's got an ankle pivot. And uh, I think his yeah his thigh goes swivels, and then his leg goes forward and back, and then in and out. But this one is stuck on me. Like it's the tightest joint ever. Like you can kind of see it there. And it won't go at all. I, I tried so hard and it looks like it's going to snap right off. So I'm not even going to mess with it. That's how it came out of the package. So, you know, I hate when the figures are like that. But that's how it was already in the package. So I can't really do nothing about it. Um, if you guys know how to loosen joints on figures, let me know. I know there's some, some trick. I don't know what it is. I think you freeze it and then you put warm water on it. But whatever. I'm not sure if that's to loosen joints or to tighten joints. So... I don't know. Size comparison time, and there he is next to the comic series one that came from the Thor movie line. Six inches, and then this is from the other Thor movie line, which is the same as the Avengers one, so. There he is. Uh, he's shorter than the comic series and shorter than Thor itself, so he's a pretty short god. Uh, but yeah, um, I always wonder why they gave us this one instead of that. You know, the movie Loki, and I guess they're saving it for the Avengers movie line, so maybe that's why. Now, people are having complaints of his staff, or his, you know, you know, stick or whatever is a, a bit on the short side now this is the staff that he had when he was in his uh like human form i mean he's a human well he's a god whatever when he was in like you know the tuxedo he had this little short version of it and when uh mark ruffalo the hulk grabbed it off the table when he was getting mad in the movie it was that short version i think it extends it extends when he's in this suit so you know they gave him the other one for some reason so I don't know, but you know, it's fine. It's not too bad. I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of short, but it's not that bad. At least it, at least it gave us uh, the accessory, so that's good. But overall, I highly recommend this figure. Uh, pick it up if you can find it. He's becoming more available, I think. Um, of course, I had Autobot Murder find it for me, and he sent it to me. So big thanks to you again. And yeah, with that said, this is Zero94. Uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe. Peace.